running 70 k's up the road and then across to Emerald tomorrow. Well, we're at Alpha, at the Alpha Caravan Park. Yeah, we've got here a bit after 10. Went went to get the Tom Snow's pies for the bakery, but yeah, he's closed today, bugger. I was, I was hooking it up too to have a big feed of pies. Oh, I was, I was looking forward to it. Yeah, that's a camp kitchen there. Pretty good. Communal fire pit just over there, that looks awesome. But yeah, I hope too many don't get in tonight. There's no one here at the moment, there's only us. There's a fifth wheeler parked over the back there, I'll show you in a minute. That's a communal fire pit. It'll be pretty cool. It's all set up. We might get a bit of road noise, that's the main highway out of town there. I think, I think it is, maybe not. I don't know where I am now, but yeah, no, maybe it's not the main road out of town towards Emerald. I oh, could be, because that's east. Yep, so yeah, this is the park. Oh, another caravan just come in. So we won't be all by ourselves. Yeah, that fifth wheel, I don't think there's anybody's in there because the lady at the reception said she had to reverse it yesterday. So maybe she lives in it, I'm not too sure. Yeah, the amenities box there. Yeah, it's a nice little park, green grass. A bit greener than where we were yesterday. Nice big gums. We'll park them in the meat. <laughs> right, I hope. Yeah, so we'll leave here tomorrow morning sometime. We've only got oh, less than 200 k's to go again tomorrow across the Emerald. Yeah, no, nice park. Nice park. You know, so this will do us for the night. Just about ready to go and have a can of Coke and a corned beef sandwich. Pulled up at um, oh, just the rest area just outside of Anarchy. We've only got about 50 k's or 45 k's to go into Emerald. But yeah, no, it's breakfast time, stomach's falling. Yeah, so it's more of a truck and truck pullover, I think. But yeah, no, you can stay here the night, no worries. Treasure map. Sapphires and rubies and emeralds, I guess that's where the town's got the names from. So we might drive up into Anarchy, it's only half a K up the road, I think, from where we are. We'll go up and do a Yui and come back and have a look at the place. Chris, you're saying she's never been in Anarchy before, I don't think I've been to Sapphire and Ruby Vale and everything. Look, but never ever drove into Anarchy. Yeah, so we'll do that after Brecky. Yeah, 
This is over, just over there, cooking me some toast. Yeah, good little rest, pull up area. We'll go over this map over here. Inside and outside. Same with the caravan. Uh, Anarchy, Sapphire. The last time we were here, we went for a drive up in the Ruby Vale and all that. I don't know if we'll do that today. We might do. Not today, but um, we're here for five nights at Emerald, so we might go for a drive. Yeah, very good. Oh, well, better go and get me toast. Oh, I just come over, I had a, I think I just took a photo of this before, video of this before, this is a bit of a sculpture, I just at the rest area and I just worked out, it's all the different colours of glass, you've got rubies and yeah, greens for um, emeralds I guess, blue for sapphires, yeah, that's pretty cool, I don't know if you'll be able to see the colours through this, I'm guessing that's what it means, the, the, what the um, significance of it is, it looks alright. See all this bloody monuments. Does it, that what it says? lights up at night. Oh, does it? Yeah. Is that what the colours mean? That uh, doesn't say, does it? No. That's where it'd be, eh? Yeah. It'd have to be. That's pretty cool. Ah, that's impressive. Well done, Anarchy. Hello, we, we arrived at Emerald yesterday morning. Paul turned up about 2.30. Yeah, and um, Chrissy's two grandsons worked here, so they organised our sites for us, and yeah, they got to set us up really good. That's our van there, and Ron and Paul sort of goes there, so yeah, we sort of got one big campsite. Yeah, Paul's on the grog already. Chrissy's had a few. I have not. <laughs> Rufus has. Yeah, no, awesome setup. Pretty hot today. Yeah, all drive through sites too. So yeah, we just come around that way and just go straight in. Our car parks there, where it is over there, and all come in that way. You just gotta keep your ropes in a little bit close, that's all. Yeah, no, awesome. Awesome little spot. So we're off to the drive to the gem fields tomorrow. Go to the Ruby Vale and Sapphire and... Get a pie. Where to? Willow. Oh, Willow too. Yeah, probably get a pie, I think. I'm not... Have one today, it's pretty good. Oh, well, there used to be shit pies down there, but they're really good in there, so. Grab a pie. Willow in Anarchy too. We'll go back in Anarchy for a look. Take a, we'll take a lunch with us and some cold drinks. Did you stay in Anarchy this time? We drove in there. We, we pulled up there for breakfast at Anarchy. Oh, yeah. But we didn't stay there. Yeah, no. Good little set. The boys did a good job setting us all up and how they got us. Well done. Oh, we're just out for a day drive today. Um, we've already been into Anarchy for a look around. We're in the gem fields. We're in Ruby Bowl at the moment. Yeah, we went to Anarchy there quick for over in there, but they were there the other day, there was much there, but I don't think it's much out here either. We'll just have a poke around Ruby Vale, see what we can find. I don't think we can find much. Left, right, straight ahead. Decision. It's a pub there. Oh, we'll drive through. Ruby Vale Caravan Park. Oh, yeah. Not too bad. No grass, of course. Yeah, dream care about, you know, Monday, Monday. 
And we were gone. Yeah, just back around. Yeah, we're just driving into Sapphire now. Heading back here, we're gonna get a boy at the rest area where we had um, breakfast out there a couple of days ago we've been coming into Emerald with like that and Ricky. Then there's a pie cart there now so we'll block there and get a pie. Yeah. There's not much at Ruby Vale and not much here at Sapphire either. Really. It's just junk and rubbish everywhere. Like some of the yards at Ruby Vale just full of shit. I suppose if you're into sapphires and gemstones and that'd be worthwhile coming and having a bit of a look around. You can buy bags of, of um of dirt, I suppose you'd call it. You can sift them out, wash them and get um you know, have a dig around with some sapphires and that. And that people do get a few little ones. Mine tools and stuff you could go down into if you're interested. Yeah. A bit like riding which was in the old days, I think. So, so this is something about RSL camping on top of their car. Mm -hmm. Anyway, well, at least we'll get a pie out of it. Pie until <laughs> it gets over 200. Uh, this is a famous roast yeah. lamb Ziggy cook off. Rhonda and Paul against Miko and Chrissy. We both have roast lamb in the Ziggies. I think I think the results are already in the bag. No, oh, spectators. 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 Another one under there somewhere. Rufus, spectator. You can hear the burnt bits, Ruth. This will go down in history as the the Emerald Cook Off. <laughs> For a drive again today. Still got a couple of days before we leave Emerald. We just come out to Fairburn Dan to have a look. And apparently it's down to 7% I was saying yesterday. But there won't be too much water in there. We're just going across the dam wall now. Start the dam wall. It's a spillway over there. I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not. But yeah it is it does look like the other side like where I can see there's not much water. And this is the town's water supply too, so apparently the um, cotton farms take up a fair bit of water out of it. But they say it doesn't take long to fill up once they get a bit of rain from the fair size catchment area. Can see new spillway down there. New spillway? That's one they, that busted the banks. Oh up. yeah, it flooded. Yeah, it flooded ancient mines. In the, in the bolt mines, yeah. Well, it's been a few years building that new wall. Mm. So like out there, Lake Maraboon, Lake Maraboon they call it, and Fairburn Dam. That's all I might do up here trying to fill it up though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Have to keep it full water shortage, it's probably going to recycle water. Pump it back into the dam. Looks like old mates up here trying to refill it.
still a fair body of water there, isn't there, really? But yeah, it's pretty high. Oh, we're just up at the lookout now. Except up here in my camper van years and years ago now, it's up there, not in the camp here now, but yeah, me and my mate, we camped up there for the night. Got the dogs out for a wander. Rufus is up a magpie. Organised a sausage sizzle for the night for all the family. She's in charge of the onions. Paul's in charge of the sausages. Ron, Ron, uh, Rhonda's looking after my suit. I'm looking after the dog. Scotty's looking after the dog. And the chip bowl. And the chip bowl. The, other, the rest of the kids will clean up lately, I guess. Already. Mm -hmm. This is Miko eating his snack. And we got Jamie over here with hers. Nan's over here guarding the kitchen. And we got Rhonda. Poor Rufy can't have any. We got Mum. And good old Rubes. We got Paul. Where's your food, Paul? And Elbel. And that's us, the camp kitchen. Enjoying our dinner. We've got Miko and Dad. Hi. Got Jamie. Hello. And Mum and Nan. We got Jordo. You do me again. Dad. <laughs> what do you got there, Dad? Beer and sausages with sauce. This is living. Elbel, she's passed out on the chair. Broads tried to put the fire out with his hat, didn't work so well. And we got good old Paul over here on the, what are those? The stubbies. 